today we're going to be making a singular tessellation that can be repeated indefinitely. To get started, we are going to use a square, although you could use a rectangle as well. And we are going to just draw a random design from one corner to the other exactly. Um, this time I'm gonna go from one corner and not quite to the end, but if you do something like that, then you're gonna wanna make sure that when you move it, the one that's touching the corner is touching another corner. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the designs. There are two ways that you could go about making the tessellation. You could take the design that you cut out and put it across from where it started, or you could rotate it as well. You just wanna make sure that you have one flat side touching another flat side, and that you line up the corners. You wanna make sure that you're not flipping it over because that would completely change the design. I like to try out both, and then rotate them to see if there's anything that I can see Basically, you're just playing the cloud game where you rotate it and see if there's anything that you can recognize in the shape. Once you have a design picked out, then you're gonna go ahead and tape it together. I like to tape the front and the back and then trim the tape off. Now all that's left to do is go ahead and trace it out and then sketch your design onto your template. Keep following to see how we turn this into a printmaking design. <laughs> 